Good morning. This is where I woke up today. Mexico is right over there, about eight miles. And today I'm headed over there with my friend Carol to check out Algodones, and we're going to take you with us. All right, Carol, we're on our way to Mexico. We are. I'm excited. Do you know what dentist you're going to go to? I have no clue. Really? Yeah. I mean, all I, those billboards that I, we passed? Yeah, no. I, I got some stuff off of Facebook last night, but I have no clue. So, is the prevailing wisdom that you can just walk down the street and find a dentist and get in for a cleaning? That's what I hear. Okay. It's going to be fun. That's right. Woo! Woo! No stopping, no parking, no RVs. No RVs parked on the side of the road. There was a sign back there. Oh, oh look, this is like an RV park over here, but it looks abandoned. Yeah. Oh. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Welcome How's the driving going, Carol? It's good so far. <laughs> <laughs> just a couple of times over the just, just middle line. Just a couple. Because <laughs> I'm looking. Because I'm oh, looking. Oh, is that the parking? Oh, this might be the parking. That looks like the parking. Okay, so. Okay. I see why they don't want people to park on the side of the road. Oh, look. Okay, international boundary, 600 feet. Last U-turn. Exit only, so we don't go in there. Okay. Are we supposed to go through there? Are we? I don't know. Let's try it. Well, there's a green arrow. Oh, I bet we do. I bet we go through right here and then walk. Over there? Mm-hmm. Well, if we're not supposed to do it, surely they'll let us come back. Let's not get shot. Look at this wall. If you oh, run, don't jump in the bar, boy. There's the wall! <laughs> That's beautiful. There's the wall. <laughs> I don't think this is right. Uh, this is wrong. This is wrong. Okay, so Carol and I completely screwed this up. <laughs> we, uh, we drove almost into Al Algodona's in the car, which we didn't mean to do. We wanted to go to this parking lot over here, so we actually had to flip around, and now we have to go back through customs into the United States, passport ready, and um, go up and park. So if you guys come here, just know that if you get to this part, you've gone too far. There's not really good signs for how to get into the parking lot, right, Carol? Yeah, I didn't see any. Yeah, well, we're gonna work it out. This is a pay parking lot. Six dollars for the day. Carol, listen to me now. Carol, listen to me yes, now. Yes. My friend Jill said that they have the best fish tacos in the world in here. Now I don't eat fish. Neither does she. She's a vegan. But I bet we can find some good tacos in there. Should we go try? Uh, before or after you get your teeth cleaned? Um, after. <laughs> okay. Cause I already brushed them. Cause I'm supposed to get my teeth cleaned. Yep. I can't go put stuff. I in just got them. my teeth cleaned at home, or else. I'll just look around and get some shots for the people. Yeah. We'll see We'll see what kind of stuff we can buy here. I know you can buy Viagra here. We don't need it, though. I'd like to try it just to see what happens. Does it do anything? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Only one way to find out, people. I'm going to take one for the team. Oh, my God. <laughs> Molar City, why is it called Molar City? Thank you for coming to Los Angeles, the Molar City, because there's no pain. There's no pain? And the other side, my little ouch. Okay. Oh, Thank right. you for your business. Thank you very much. Thank you. Happy to be here. Thanks. Hello there. So all kinds of people just talk to us, and this guy just hit us up for a cleaning, which is why Carol's here. Hi, Carol. <laughs> How'd it go, Carol? Great. Feel good? Yeah. Easy? Easy. All right, what'd you think? It was very good. Was it? It was a piece of cake, walked in. I think they did a good job? I think they did a good job. It was 20 bucks. 20 bucks and to, uh, painless? Very painless. Did yeah. they tell you you needed any work done? Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> they did. <laughs> All right, well, let's go find some margaritas and 
whatever else we can get ourselves into down okay, here. Okay, good. All let's right. go. All right. Hello. Hello. My name, my name is Pablo. Hola, Pablo. <laughs> Welcome to Los Agodones, <laughs> Mexico, Molar City. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> yes. what, is there a good place to eat lunch here? Oh, yeah, there's a few. One is uh, Pueblo Viejo, right around the corner here. Okay. Or Paraiso Restaurant, and the corner make a left, half a block right hand side. Where would you go? Pueblo Viejo. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Enjoy have a good day. day. Okay. Thank you very much. When you walk down the street, all kinds of people trying to help you. Yeah. And we told them we wanted to get some antibiotics, and they said, don't go to the purple place. The purple is, is the best. Is it why? Because other people want you to go to other pharmacies because they give them commission. For That's whatever I wanted you buy. That. But they said the prices were higher there. Is that true? It, it might be a little bit higher, but it's, it's not expired <laughs> medication you're going to buy, okay? Tell me your name. Alex Miranda. Okay, Alex, tell us what we can can and cannot get at a pharmacy here. Well, you can get any kind of medication except uh, uh, relaxing, like Soma, like uh, what the other name is, Clonazepam, all that. Okay, mm -hmm. all that medication you can cross the border. We can sell it to you, but you can cross the border. You can't. You can't. Yeah, so no muscle relaxers. No muscle relaxers. No, yes. probably no opiates. No. Okay, so um, antibiotics. Well, any kind. Any okay, kind. Viagra. I know you guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what, how many trials you want? I got <laughs> what's, it. What, <laughs> what's um What's popular here for people to buy? Oh well, all people came here for dental. The uh -huh. first, the first thing you know, uh -huh. and then optical, pharmacy, and they uh -huh. they go to shop around like oh, with all that people right there. Uh -huh. Souvenirs, you know, like okay. blankets. Uh, nice. All all kind of metal stuff. Metal, metal, uh, you know, all that Great. for decoration. Hey, Carol and Robin go to Mexico. <laughs>
What else do we have in here, Carol, that we need? I, yeah. I saw that we could get Viagra gel <laughs> for $2.99. And we're having some lunch, Carol. That looks delicious. It is good. What you got over there? Vegetarian got a food. Burrito with vegetables in it. Yep. What did you think, Carol? Did you have a good time? I did. Me too. Very enjoyable. Yeah. Doesn't look too long of a line to get back in. We'll see. Thanks, Carol, for taking me with you to Mexico. It was a blast. I had so much fun at Algodonas. You know, if I have to get dental work, that's where I'm going. I talked to a few people there that go every single year. They had a great experience. So did Carol. And there are a lot of prescription drugs that you can get for cheap, in addition to, like, your regular tourist things. But we did ask all the locals where to go for lunch. We went to a fun place, had no problem getting in and out. And I wanted to show you guys what I actually got. I got this blanket because I needed... Actually, it was supposed to be an outdoor blanket while I'm sitting in my chair because it was a really good weight. Uh, but I like it so much, it's on my bed now. And uh, this was $20, although I could have done better because Carol got two for 20 And uh, just because she didn't negotiate, she just kept her mouth shut and they kept lowering the price. And then, uh, one thing I did want to get there is I got 100 tablets of amoxicillin. Um, that are not expired. I checked the dates. This entire bottle was $6. And I got this, you know, just in case something happens on the road. I'm not an antibiotic taker. Um, I rarely, rarely ever take them, but I do get ear infections. So if something pops up, I got this. Thanks for coming along with me to Algodonas, Mexico. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I wish you all happy travels out there. Living in an RV is the best because you get to go to so many very cool places. Be free.